It's time to pull her a line while the sun doth shine. It's time to pull her a line while the sun doth shine. Alright, welcome back to Jelly Space. We're getting ready for the eclipse. And one of the challenges might be to get your mount uh, polar aligned during the day. So we're going to do that. A little simple device here. And this was made for selfie sticks and stuff. But it's an adjustable phone holder. It's made out of aluminum. Uh, I will post where I got that. And then it's on a Star Watcher mount with a little uh, quarter inch bolt to hold it in place. And it's nice and firm. We're going to put that into the saddle up here and we'll be able to use our phone and the compass tool and they make some alignment tools but you don't really necessarily need them just a good compass and then we want to make sure that our latitude is more or less where it's supposed to be so we're at 32 degrees so our latitude's pretty much spot on there'll be some minor adjustments and always make sure that your mount is more or less level um, that'll just help with tracking accuracy for a while. Um, so next up, I'm going to put my phone up in here. And I've got... All right, so now I've got the compass app up. We're going to go ahead and put this in the phone holder. And you can kind of see where our north is. So I'm really just going to pivot the mount on its leg until it's aimed as close to zero on the north as we can get it so right here looks like we're good our elevation is more or less good so from here on it's just dialing it in so now we're going to go ahead and take this off and get the rest of the stuff set up so we'll be right back all right so now we're going to send the slew command to tell the telescope to go to where it thinks the sun is so it should be pretty close at this point because we're roughly aligned slew it here east so here it goes and we're going to walk over here and use this solar finder so it's just like a regular um scope finder um but it is made for using for the sun so it projects a little tiny pin it's got a pinhole up here at the front and it projects it on a reticle in the back so that you can line it up. So that's our final step. So you can see here, the sun is pretty close. So now what we're going to do is use our adjustments and try to get that right dead in the center. So that looks pretty good. Let's go see what's on the screen. So the next step is to just you look at this live view and line it up. So just look at the screen and I will get it lined up the rest of the way. There we are. Now, We've got it centered using the mount. So now we can sit here and watch it for a while. And it may drift a little bit, but it will take minutes for it to drift. So let's go ahead and start live stacking and see what kind of image we can get. There is some clouds in the way right now, but we'll see what we can get just for fun. Yeah, these clouds are making a lot of noise, but I see some sunspots developing. right there cool so that's basically it we are pretty much now polar aligned and just on occasion we can make some corrections to the mount to keep it centered one more thing we can do is use our slew command again slewing, slewing complete see if it moved at all and adjust it but it didn't move so there we go